three one pitch is drilled to right field and Marwin Gonzalez has hit a home run. Marwin's first of the year and the Astros take a two to nothing lead. Swing's got to feel good to Marwin. That last game in Texas got roughed up a little bit. Didn't like some of the calls. Trying to play soccer with a couple of the baseballs being rolled out on the field. Eventually got himself ejected, but now in that shortstop role, picking up for Correa, goes deep to right field. Mancini gets a fastball. He drills it to deep center. Backing up is Springer. Backing up, backing up. Bye bye. That ball got over the yellow line. And the shutout has been avoided. It is now six to one Houston in the ninth inning. Boom, boom. First one this season. Well, five more like that will be in business. What, you're saying can't happen? Could happen. Just don't tell Brian Dozier. All right. Town with his Boston Red Sox here as Brian Anderson will see a 2 0 pitch and sends this one out to deep right field. This one is back and it is gone. Oh my! A solo home run for Brian Anderson. It's 1 0 Marlins. Big time power for Brian Anderson. Wow! Big league home run number one for Mr. Anderson. Congratulations to him getting up. Well, got silent treatment? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Biggie Rojas. Get out of the way. <laughs> there it is. First one of his career. <laughs> With so many rookies on this team, we better get used to that. <laughs> you know? Canley swings, wires on the left field. This is deep. Back by the fence. It goes. Home run. Hanley Ramirez with his first in the year. He returns to Miami and lines a two-run homer to give the Red Sox a 5-1 lead. How is he enjoying this? As he circles the bases. Number one for Hanley and his first two RBIs of the season. 5-1 Boston. Yeah, looks like he got a ball up in the zone and uh, hit it pretty good. One two pitch and Betts drills one to left field. This ball's deep. This ball's gone. A home run. Mookie Betts. They put it in the Miami bullpen and the Red Sox lead it six to one as Mookie Betts drills his first home run of 2018. Well, these Red Sox fans sound like they outnumber the Marlins fans here. That was a shot on a one two pitch. Here's the two one. Swinging a long one to left. This has got a chance to go. Granderson at the track. He'll watch it fly out. One nothing Sox. He had a bomb to left field. As you were saying? We were just talking about the fact that uh, you roll up the double play and maybe you just take that breath going, okay. Whew, I can relax a little. No, you can't. As Wellington Castillo hits his first home run of the season and puts the Sox ahead. One nothing. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep to right. Garcia on the run at the track. Get out of here. Down. Number one for Donaldson. An opposite field home run. And we are tied. Josh has put up some big numbers against the White Sox over the last couple of seasons. And, and he's at it again here in 2018. They tried to go fastball inside. 56 strikes. I had him down for two walks. There's a swing and a high fly ball. It's left center field. This is tagged at the wall. It's gone. He has two home runs in the game. Does Castillo in the Sox lead two to one? Boy, he's hit three home runs in a row. <laughs> High fly ball to left, deep, get up ball, get up ball, get out of here, down! Russell Martin! And the Blue Jays continue to hit the homers. They now lead it 3-2. to two. 
You know, we were talking earlier about the approach at the plate with two strikes. That's another two strike base hit by the Blue Jays. And then Miss Diaz hits a drive to the left. Get up, ball, get up, get out of here, get out! <laughs> Got his first hit, a big hit to right field in that comeback win the other day. This time, a little add on runs, some insurance. Not waiting around. He's got some power. He had 17 home runs in 2016. And now, another home run hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Encarnacion with a high drive, deep left field. Down the line it goes into the corner. It is a fair ball. It hit off the wall, not the pole. Encarnacion around second on his way to third. Ball still in the warning track. He's being waved home. There will be no throw to the plate. And when Encarnacion says yes indeed, you'll see something you've never seen before. That's me with an inside the park home run. How about that? the left field line ricocheted evidently off the wall it was right near the foul pole carom to the warning track toward left away from the corner and nobody really was in a hurry to go get that ball including the left fielder justin upton and that is definitely a fair ball it definitely hit the yellow line and it definitely hit below the top of the wall. And Edwin Encarnacion has an inside the park home run and is now being administered oxygen in the first base dugout. Two city West Coast swing to open the season. Alonzo drives one high and deep to right. Forget it, home run yonder Alonzo. Deep into the bleachers in right. Number two on the season for Alonzo, and the Indians lead it 3 0. Here's the pitch to Naquin. He swings, and there's a high fly ball. Right center field, way back there, and it's a home run, Tyler Naquin. Indians playing long ball tonight. That's their third. And the two-run blast by Naquin makes it 5 nothing Tribe. It's a great story that Chad Bettis is back doing what he does best. Myers drives this out to deep right center field back towards the wall, and that ball is gone. Well, Myers, with his first home run of the year, ties the game with one swing of the bat. It's 1-1. One one. Two one pitch to Desmond hit the center field hit pretty well Margot going back at the warning track leaps and it is gone. He's done it again. His fifth home run in a Rockies uniform against San Diego. Touch him all time for Ian Desmond five to Rockies. That ball was hit exactly where Will Myers hit his home run, right over the 396 sign. Pitch is hit pretty well to right center field. Long run for Margot, and he is going to run out of room. Touch him all time for Charlie Blackman. His fourth home run of the spring. We are just four games into the season, and Charlie has gone deep four times, 6-2 Rockies. In on the season now. And DJ's gonna try and make it 10, and does, as it just gets over the wall and deep left center. Touch him all time for the second time this season for DJ LeMayhew, 7-2 Rockies. Okay, with eight all of last year, has got two in the first four games of the season. Batters tired them all. Two strikeouts and a ground out. Fly ball headed out towards center field. Charlie Blackman going back onto the track at the wall. That ball is gone. 
Kapler Spangenberg has homer to begin things in the bottom of the ninth inning. The one out. Fly ball well hit to left center field. Way back and it is gone. A home run. Logan Forsythe to deep left center field over 400 feet. And the Dodgers take a 4-3 lead. Owens gets it deep to left field. We're tied up. Chris Owens. Oh, my goodness. Back-to-back two-out walks and a Chris Owings three-run homer, and it's six to six. Moran awaits. He slams one out to right. Colin Moran, a grand slam. Welcome to Pittsburgh. His first home run as a pirate breaks it up. And that ball's lifted left field fairly well. Dickerson into the corner near the pole, jumps up and gone. That is a home run down the left field line for Dozier. And the Twins are on the board. They trail 5-1. to one. Dickerson got their short fence and jumped up on it right at the pole. So Dozier had a two-homer game the other day, and now here um, was the uh, the first real spring training together. They actually were together the year before that. Manny Pena sends one deep to right center. She is gone. And the first run of the year at Miller Park will send Bernie on his slide as Manny Pena, the Pineapple Express, delivers. uniform came up as a brewer was drafted by Milwaukee and Kane sends one deep in the left center that's gonna fly out of here a long home run and Lorenzo Kane has tied it what a start to the season for Lorenzo Kane that's already his ninth hit of the year I think he got something off speed, maybe that curveball. And Michael, this is 0 for 4 in his major league career. He did hit 110 in Japan. Michael is with a drive. Deep left field. First career hit. God, a home run. He does it in style. A two run shot for his first major league hit. Gives himself an, a lead, too, but. Oh, when that I was wearing 39, it was that was routine for me. The corners. The pitch. A swing and a high fly ball. Deep left center field to the track. The wall. A gunner. A three-run homer for Paul DeYoung. The Cardinals lead eight to two. And I smell the coffee brewing. And that one's high and deep to right. This one's not coming back as Eric Thames with a two-run blast. First home run of the year for Thames after 31 a year ago. And the Brewers get two back with two outs. Well, it is April, right? I had a pretty good April last year. Bartolo Colon tonight 0-2 the count. That one is driven to right center. Hit pretty well. Chew on the move, and it's going to be gone. One-nothing A's on the opposite field home run by Matt Chapman.
they play the uh, the Darth Vader march. <laughs> Harper coming to the plate. Lefty lefty matchup. And Bryce high in the air, right center. See you later. Five nothing Washington. A three run blast for Bryce Harper. Bang, zoom goes Harper. His third home run in the last two games. He's hitting them out of the deepest part of both ballparks the Nats have played in so far. Shoulders okay. Evidently. How about the hang time on that? People need to stop taunting Harper. Yesterday they scream overrated any homers. Today they play the, the Darth Vader march. Any homers on the next pitch? It's being a good villain. He is locked in, folks. Another tater for Bryce Harper. Overrated.